Well, it's the next day after I bought this John Deere tractor yesterday from my cousin. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's been sitting, needs to be cleaned up and get a little stuff off the hood there and all. But I tell you what, this is an 85 model tractor. And look how clean the engine, everything is on it. It is just amazing. And it runs absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. AC blows coal. The radio all plays, wipers, lights, everything works just as good as a late model new tractor. Just look how clean for an 85 model tractor. Look at that. Yep. Um, very happy with it. Very happy. And this morning, uh, Melinda. Yeah, isn't that funny too? <laughs> uh, this, this morning, Melinda drove his tractor around out in the back fields and all. I was teaching her to use the clutch shift to the different ranges on the transmission and then the different gears so she was really digging driving this tractor around on the fields i d did see here that it's got a little bit of a hydraulic leak that i found this morning uh, you can see maybe a little bit of on the grass my cousin had these seals replaced in the steering and he put these lines new right here um that high, hydraulic pressure line and i think maybe where it connected back here somewhere uh it might need to be tightened up or something so it does have a little bit of a drip right there but not a big deal not a big deal at all for the price i'm willing to work out a couple little bugs here and there on it absolutely just amazed how clean everything is on this tractor well, as farm work goes, being here on a Texas farm, uh, you have breakdowns, and I'm having a breakdown right now. <laughs> not personally. I'm not having a breakdown. I'm okay. <laughs> uh, sometimes I want to have a breakdown to my uh, farm equipment. So let me show you what's going on here. My hay baler has got a breakdown. Went down a few days ago, and then it's been raining, and I haven't been able to work on it. But um, I probably could have worked on it yesterday, and I just didn't. I went and handled this tractor and some other important business and stuff yesterday. But I've got to get it going. I've got hay laying on the ground, and I need to get it rolled up. And I've got more I need to cut and roll. And what's happening here is a big roller inside of here. It's called Front Steiger Roller right here, this big roller. It's supposed to spin around like that but it was seized on one end because uh, let me show you why I got in here pulled this big plate off and this race fell right out look at the bearing is completely out of it that should have that should be a one piece with a roller bearing in there but it is completely out the bearings all the way out on it so i've got that that i've got to replace and i think uh, it may need one on the other end as well so i've got to pull this thing completely out and slide it out of here i've had to do it on one of the other rollers already before that roller is heavy but i can handle it and that's what i'm working on here right now i take it loose on the other side and then slide it out of this machine and then go see if I can locate this bearing. Boy, you can see it got hot. Look, it turned blue. The other parts to it, I don't even see. And you can see it been rubbing. These machines, it's hard to know that too. That's a sealed bearing. So it's not like it has a grease cert. Grease cert's like this little part here. Where you can put a grease gun on and grease things. They're sealed bearings. So when they go out, they're just out. You know, there's no... Uh, maintenance to grease them or nothing when they fail you just replace well I'm here on the other side of this machine and I've got to try to get down in here and pull this big nut off and get that uh, stagger roller pulled out all right after I fought fought I got that bolt loose on the other end Michael you come around right here get right up here close where you can hold your hand down there on the end of it and let's try to pull this joker out now, you you work it across this way, and I'm gonna start sliding it out the side over here. All right, 
and I walk, come around. Don't ever climb over drop shafts. You got new legs. Lieutenant Dan, you got new legs. All right. Let's sit up here on the back of the truck. There she is. Boy, that bearing is out, out, out. I've still got to get that race off of there. So I'm going to change bearings. I'm going to change my both ends. So that means I'll need to get this one off too. And that's a little bushing here we don't want to lose. All right, we just got back from the John Deere house, Ag Power, uh, picking up these bearings for this. So one bearing is completely disintegrated. Uh, I've got parts to it in here. You can see here, I mean, it is just disintegrated. And this one here on the other end is not far from it. So you'll see one of the first things you see is that all of this metal part here is missing, even on the one that's still rolling. Um, and you can see it chewed up here on the other one. Then the next thing we found out is that it has a missing dust cap here on it. Uh, when I bought the baler, apparently somebody's been in there before and they didn't put this cap on so there you go i've got to put those now unless this is something they redesigned and came up as an aftermarket thing he didn't say but he said you know do i want to put these caps could have been it was originally like this and they could have come out with this aftermarket uh, a redesign retrofitting back to try to solve a problem because i do notice it gets a lot of debris right down in that area well anyway they're going on there this time and that'll seal right here on the end of this this shaft when I push it in there it'll seal up right here at the end so we got the old bearing off we knocked it out I took a grinder here and cleaned up around the end of the shaft here some got any kind of like surface rust and all off there any little burrs and it's all good so we're just gonna get the bearings on here on both ends get the seals on it and uh, get it back together so we can get in the field so we got the new bearing down in that end and we're putting the one up in this end now uh, it seats in here down about the width of the bearing you see in here yeah you see right there about the width of the bearing it seats in and so you don't want to hammer on none of this you'll damage that bearing beating on that and all so i in this case have the raceway from the old bearing and i'll put it up here on it and uh then i'll go around and tap that in a circle and seat it down in there so there it is the new bearings in there the new cap is on on both ends and we're ready to slide it back in the machine it's all back in here so the rollers back in here rolling nice and smooth everything's good very good I like it
Well, it's going pretty good. I got one pickup tooth underneath there. That's a, a little teeth that come up and pick that hay up and feed it to the baler. I can hear it rubbing against the guard that's next to it. That happens when you get a stick or anything out there when you're bailing. It can be down on the ground. Get up there. Sometimes it's been one of those little guards or something. Not a big issue. All I gotta do is just stop it, lay down, reach underneath there. With the engine off on the tractor though, everything turned off. And just take my hand and pull that over. It's good to go and a little squeak noise is over with. But uh, everything good to go and it's ready to go back to the hay field. Now, the thing is, got that John Deere tractor. I'm trying to put this John Deere better. But uh, I need to change over my controller or the, the hay baler, the monitor, the baler monitor. I need to change it over to this other tractor. I don't know if I want to do it right now. i go finish up with this tractor that I have, the baling that's on the, the hay that's on the ground. Get that done, and then before I cut more hay, switch it over and get all of it set over onto the other tractor then, which I think is what I'm going to do. I think we're going to head over here right now, and I'm going to teach Michael how to uh, drive tractor, run hay rake. That's what we usually always start somebody out on, like a teenager like him. Start out on the hay rake. That's your beginning job right there. So, uh, you know, he, he has his own riding lawnmower, and it's a pretty big one that I hooked him up with before. So if he can drive a riding lawnmower, you can drive that small international tractor we have. Uh, you know, just a little more power and a little bit more uh, machine underneath your butt. All right, well, appreciate y'all just kind of watching along here with what's happening on uh, Melinda and myself, our farm life here when we're not in the Philippines. And, uh, you know, it's hard work. We do hard work here for sure. So, Michael, you ready to learn to go how to drive a tractor? Sure. Are you ready to get started? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Ray, see how much stuff you hit. Yeah. <laughs> see what all you run over, man. <laughs> So, you turned, what, 15 when? Uh, November. In November? Yeah, so he'll be 15 November when all of us, everybody I know, was way younger than him. We were already operating equipment out in Hayfield, running rakes at a young age, at a very young age. So, uh, well, Michael, he's a smart kid, and he'll get it figured out really quick, I believe so. Like I say, if he can run his ride lawnmower, he can run this. You just gotta watch out for a little bit more around you. Well, let's go try to do it then. Okay. <laughs>